Hi, my name is Kirsten Cruen. Today in my presentation I'll be looking at the importance of assessment in mathematics and its direct impact on students' learning experience. Assessment is a critical part of effective learning, Garcia et al. 2014. Teachers spend about 40% of their time directly involved in assessment-related activities, Remesol 2011. There are two main forms of assessment used in primary school mathematics, formative and summative. SNS 2015. Formative and summative assessments are dissimilar in that they have different goals and the outcomes are used for different purposes. Brookout 2008. Formative assessment is a more contemporary approach to assessment. Ecclestein 2010. While summative assessment is the more traditional approach. Fusco 2012. Formative assessment is used to monitor student learning and provide ongoing feedback so teachers can improve their teaching and help students enhance their learning. Bennett 2012. The main focus of formative assessment is to enhance learning rather than paying particular attention to a grade of achievement. Instead, it helps children to work on their strengths and targets areas that require immediate attention. Black and William 2006 suggests formative assessment for learning is any assessment that serves the purpose of promoting student learning. According to Lingrad 2009, it differs from summative assessment which is designed more for purposes of accountability or of ranking or of certifying competence. Formative assessment assesses the quality of learning, which is better positioned for a classroom setting where educators can gain daily insight into children's knowledge and understanding of concepts. There are numerous ways a st student's learning can be assessed using formative assessment tools, opening questioning, learning logs, rubrics, checklists and quizzes, just to name a few, to provide teachers with the information about what students understand, revealing students' misconceptions on a daily basis and guiding instruction to improve student learning. Children can be assessed formatively through observation of the use of informal record-taking classes and checklists by asking higher order questions, scaffolding, working towards response and open-ended interviews. The teacher can see the level of children's comprehension of mathematical concepts. Assistance can be provided immediately if required. There are many ways teachers can implement and document assessment of mathematics by the use of student folios, assignments, performance tasks, diagnostic observation classroom dialogue, quizzes, homework, self and peer assessment, interviews and feedback. Examples ACMNA 103 and ACMNA 105 ACARA 2015 could be teaching of fractions and decimals where the teacher could ask children to divide a rectangular bed into a number of equal plots. What Addition and subtraction sentences can you create with fractions by looking at your garden? Teacher could discuss fractions and decimals and draw representations even a pizza on the board and use effective questioning techniques during the process and allow children to create visual representations and write mathematical terms, concepts and processes. This can guide teachers in building the next steps to elaborate further on understanding and with more in-depth and structured questioning, observe children who initially were thought to have difficulties with numeracy but actually have difficulties with literacy or reading problems. Formative assessment is inclusive in nature and effective for the needs of all children, especially with low achieving students. It is also effective when English is a second language as barriers can be broken down and information communicated in terms that make sense to the child. Feedback has a great impact on student learning, but to be done effectively, it should be done as soon as possible. It informs students of their level of understanding and encourages them to take the next step in the journey of learning. Another example, which is under the content descriptor of money and financial mathematics, ACMNA 106 ACARA 2015, and which can be used for year five children, is going to a fun park for an excursion. Children have $100 to spend and need to record information about a budget, such as an entry fee, lunch choices, bus fare, and the cost of rides. They must demonstrate an understanding of the mathematical concept of keeping costs within a budget, ACARA 2015. Teacher can provide effective feedback to encourage children to complete the task and then mark the task providing constructive comments. Formative assessment uses a continual cycle of teaching assessment which includes assessment of teaching practice with reteaching if required, creating an essential link to the curriculum. Formative assessment is often undervalued and seen as low stakes testing because there's no mark and the student's performance is not benchmarked against their peers. Summative assessment usually occurs at the end of a unit and does not show the holistic progression of the child on a particular topic. Summative assessment results can however help to place children in ability classes and provide grades for their reports, although it does not necessarily show the child's true talents or understandings. 
Summative assessment does not provide a realistic overview of children's development in maths. Instead, it only shows if the child got the answer right or wrong, for example, the NAPLAN test. In summary, mathematics is an essential learning area in the Australian curriculum and assessment is the key to advancement in mathematics area. It is important to use appropriate assessment tools for the purpose of improving student learning. Teachers need to be informed about the advantages and disadvantages of summative and formative assessment options. Thank you. Above all, let the kids have fun. Thank you.